when you want to create your own project, a new project, some student they they have a common uh, some problem like this. You can see a pop up window, and uh, for example, let's just create a C program, and we give it a name test. And some student the mistake that they make is they directly click finish, but it's it's not the correct way to do it. We have to click next because we need to choose the correct microcontrollers that we use. We click we click on AVR simulator and then on this side that's the device that you need to choose. Normally we have two type of devices, the 8 Anmega 8515 or Anmega 16. Let's just give an example of Anmega 16. See Anmega 16 and we select this one, we click on finish. If you want to check the whether you have the correct device uh, selected, we go to project, configuration options and then there is a pop-up window coming up and from here we can see the device now we can check okay we have the correct uh, setting if not you can always choose from all these different devices to find the correct one otherwise you're gonna have a lot of error and you got nowhere what you should do to make it correct let's see another problem that student may have that's first this is the already created program and basically the content is all tested to be correct but there are something happening at the beginning let's just see how it worked let's just click on the build now a lot of errors pop up okay it give me some error said something undeclared but this is the basic register that we use and uh, some students may feel panic because they they don't know what they did wrong but don't but the first thing that you need to check with this kind of error happen, that means you didn't have the correct head file or the device that you select is not correct. Like we have already talked about how to select the correct device and now let's look at the head file. Alright, with normal AVR head files, we need to have the include blah blah blah. But we can see here, we only have the standard I.O. but we didn't have anything related to the AVR microcontrollers. What we should do is we need to add the correct head files. These, is, these two are always kind of standard and you need to make sure that whatever you use and uh, these kind of functions that has been predefined in these head files and by including these file, head files it allows you to use these sub functions and to create the, 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 the program. Another problem that student may have is they, they may use some kind of variable. For example, I use the variable A, but uh, in the error, it gave me the error set A undeclared. That means student may use some random variable, but they forget to declare them. So to declare your variable, you should always uh, remember at the beginning of your function, you, dec you declare your variable. Here, I declare this A, and to make sure that uh, before I use A, I declare what type of it. But look at there's another problem with my code. Let's run it again. It actually gave me a lot of warnings. This warning is uh, telling me that uh, we need to check, always check, when you use this variable, you define it with the correct type. For example, here I use scanf and I want to receive an integer. This D means integer. I want to receive an integer from the uh, from the input devices. But I define A as a float. And then you may have some problem of not getting the correct value that you entered. So what we need to do, we need to change all this into an int. So another, this is just an example telling you that when you are debugging your own code, you need to know that you always remember to predefine your variable and also to make them into the correct type that you want them to be. Some student, when you, uh, students are always reading these errors and I think you are able to uh, 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 like sort of debug or troubleshoot your code based on this error. But sometimes they may see some very strange error and uh, they didn't know the meaning of it. For example, they expect a declaration of statement at the end of the input. And some students, they, they didn't know what, which part was wrong and they're looking at all their code and they look at each of the statements. It seems to be alright, but actually double check is whether you have a left bracket and also have the right bracket at the end of these loops or the functions. For example, in this example here, this while loop, I only have the left bracket, but I forget the right bracket at the end of the loop. I just add it 
and then I run it and problem solved. Okay. Problem is with the connection with the board. If we want to connect with the board, we first click on the connect and then the window pop up and we click on this connect. But you wait after a while, this same window actually pop up again, which means it cannot find the device. And uh, the first thing, you just double check the cables and all the connections are correct and you turn on the power. But if this thing happens again, and what we need to do, there is a very common way that you need to troubleshoot first by yourself. To solve that problem, what we do is we first press this reset. Meanwhile, just hold, uh, keep, keep pressing and don't uh, release your finger. While you're holding this reset button, uh, we click on this connect, this thing, and try to connect to it again. And uh, we try connect. And if this window pops up, that means, okay, it worked, but don't uh, release your finger at this moment. We need to press the reset. In the meantime, we have to press this erase device. We want to sort of get rid of those junks that have stopped, stuck to your serial port. The, the, this problem happened, maybe some of your program running that may stack your uh, serial port. So that's why we need to press this, re this reset and uh, erase the device. And after that, you can release your finger and click on this program. And it worked as before. When you want to program, and uh, you click on this program button, and a window pop up like this said some ISP mode is not correct or whatever. And uh, you first need is double check Again, the six pin cables are connected correctly, but if, if you have checked that, what you need, need to do, because there are also something saying about um, the, the communication, the, the clock frequency need to be somehow uh, one fo lower than one fourth of the, system, uh, the microcontroller frequency. So where we can find the frequency? We go to this man, just next to the program window, and we can see there is a programming mode and uh, target setting. We click on this set, we can see now the ISP frequency is 460k hertz, but we click on the setting, and normally we set it must be the the 460 will give us the error. Normally the maximum that we can use is 115. So we click on this and we say right. Click on right. All right, and close the window. Go back to program. Now you click on the program. It it works correctly. So, which means that is the problem of the frequency.